So welcome everyone. Welcome through Instagram, through Zoom. I'm happy to see familiar faces. Today, um, you might need some weight for later on. So I will be using just a, a book. So feel free to have a couple of books, a couple of bottles to use later. I will start with the same drills that we did last week. So settle on your mat or on the space you're using and bring your feet in front of your booty. We'll start by checking our toe mobility. So starting with the right toes, something we want this week that I didn't stress last week was to engage the whole body. So this is the idea of these exercises that you're pressing down into the feet and inhaling deeply. And through that inhaling, inhale, flex your whole body. So inhale, flex the whole body, flex the legs, and then raise the right big toe and right, raise the four toes. Keep the body engaged. Raise, big toe, and four toes. Keep and four, big toe, and four toes. Good, you can shake it off and try one more time. So it's interesting because I have a quite flat right foot, so then my big toe doesn't really always obey. So see what your patterns are, so you know what to do with your ranges of motion. Okay, so try a couple more times on the right side. Shake it up and then we'll go to the left side. So press the left foot down, pick your chest up, inhale deep into the belly, and use that to engage the whole body. Lift the big toe of the left foot and the four toes. Just the big, just the four, keep your body engaged. And lift the big toe and then the four toes. Shake it up and try again. It's important to test your mobility every day even so that you keep that range of motion, so that you keep the control, and also so that you're able to improve your range of motion. Otherwise we lose it and then we get old and we won't be able to do much. Okay, left leg down. Bring your right arm under the right leg, grab your left bicep and bring your left hand on top. So holding on to the shin, we want to stabilize the shin and test the range of motion of your ankle. Inhale deeply and engage the whole body so that you're able to isolate the movement at the ankle and then go the other way. Then relax. And then one more time. Grab, pick up the chest, inhale. Use that inhale to engage the whole body and then start rotating the ankle. One way and then the other. You're so engaged through the whole body, like 40-50%, so that you will start sweating soon. Okay. So last time we got familiar with the exercises, this time you really go at it and you really test your range of motion. Bring your um, right hand in front of the left shin and test your left ankle. Inhale deeply, engage and roll around. And the other way. Try not to move the toes. and shake it off and try one more time. Make sure the shin is activated and it's only the ankle that's moving. Shake it off. Okay, let's test the knees. 
Tuck the thigh from underneath again, grab your left bicep and bring the hands on the top of the thigh this time. Pick up the leg. Now what we want to do is to point the foot and then you, take, you test the tilt, the, the external rotation of the knee, bring the leg up, move it out and then test the internal rotation of the knee. So it's not a long of range of motion when it comes to going in and out, because of course the knee is a hinge joint. It's not supposed to rotate outwards. But we want to keep it healthy, so test how far it can go. Then you can again take a break, relax, and engage. Press against the thigh, pick up the leg. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Keep the thigh isolated, point the foot and bring the leg up, not all the way up. And then externally rotate up, internally rotate. Two more. Keep your whole body engaged. Good. Ooh, relax. Left side, same principle. Underneath, grab the right bicep, bring your right hand on top of the thigh. You want to isolate the movement with the knee, so hold the thigh where it is, point the, the foot externally, rotate, and bring the leg up to 45 degrees, and down, and up, out, and down. Keep your thigh as it is, keep your ankle neutral and move with the knee. And shake it off. Keep noticing your range of motion, any difference between each side, because this is useful information. Pick up the chest, point the foot, and try one more time. Keep the thigh steady. Keep your whole body engaged. So inhale and flex through the whole body. Good. Okay. We're going back to the right leg. We bring the arm under, tuck the thigh, and stop the shin again. We want to test the external and internal rotation of the ankle, but this time you will point the, the foot again and you try to keep the shin steady and just test how far the ankle can turn to one side and how far it can turn to the outside. So one and the other. Of course, there's more internal rotation than external, that's not true, sure, but test it. Good, and then, okay, we can do it one more time. Stop the shin from moving. Stop the toes from doing funny things. Inhale, flex, and work it. Good, then bring the heel down. Bring your hands against the knee. Press down on the knee. You want to keep the thigh as it is. So don't move with the thigh. We're testing the knee again. So heel down. You can flex the foot or relax the toes. And then inhale. Engage through the whole body and find the external and the internal rotation of the knee. Keep pressing down with the hands to stop the thigh from doing any movement, the hip from doing any movement. And test how far out your knee can go and how far in. And relax. Take that toe one more time. Push down, flex, pick up the chest, in and out. Sorry, wrong. In and out. In and out. In and out. Good. Left ankle. Wrap your bicep, bring your hands to stop the shin. Point the foot and remember it's external and internal. So 
external and internal. External, internal, don't move the shin. Then bring the heel down, relax one more time. So again, maybe there's not so much of an external rotation, but you do your best. Good. Bring your hands against the knee. Heel down, open up the chest. Press down. And then from here, you move the shin. So test the knee, internal and external rotation. Relax it. And now that you know what you're doing again. Interlace the fingers, press down, pick up the heel, and test how far the shin can turn in and out. Keep pressing down with the hands to isolate the movement with the knee. Try not to move the ankles, try not to move the toes. Go slowly, keep the whole body engaged. And relax. All right, wrists. We'll do both wrists at the same time. Fingers together, palms straight. Imagine that you have your mobile phone on your forearm and you're standing on your balcony. So you don't want the mobile phone to drop. Keep your forearm flat. From here, test how far the hands can extend. The knees can extend, how far they can rotate in, how far they can flex, and how far they can rotate out. Inhale deeply and feel that whole body engaging. Keep breathing with the whole body engaging. And go the other way. Keep your forearms flat. Keep your elbows pressed against the side body. Your whole body engaged. All right, relax. We'll do one more time now that we know what we're doing. Elbows pressed against the side body. Pick up your chest. Pull the shoulders back. Hands flat. And then from here, extend. Lean in. Flex and lean out, extend, lean in, flex, and lean out, and the other way. Keep your whole body active. Good. Forearms. Come to a kneeling position, and then from here, we want to find an internal rotation of the arms. Keep the elbows tacked on your body, and bring your arms up. Externally rotate the forearms, and bring the arms down. Good. Engage the whole body. Use your biceps to bring the arms up. Release, one more time. Elbows in, breath in, palms flat. External rotate, and up. Internal rotate, press down. Use your body strength, use your biceps. And, one. and then bring your hands up and find the external and internal rotations here. Relax. 
class. We'll do the second one one more time. Housing, do the shorter squat, shorter legs down, inhale. And use the strength to engage your whole body, arms up, internal and external rotations. Okay, go slowly, feel what's happening, and then release. Where it will work with our uh, upper back. So, cock opposite elbows, bring your elbows in, shining. And then from here, you want to make sure that your hips stay grounded. So, hips down on the knees. Your lumbar spine should not be moving, your pelvis should not be moving. From here, Round in, bring the chin in, round forward, and then twist to the right with the upper back. It's not a big range of motion. And then from there, start dropping back through the upper back to extend the upper back. And go back, pull the belly in, go around, keep your lumbar spine straight. Find the twist and then from the twist come forward so again keep the belly in. twist and come back keeping the belly in. open the chest keep your shoulder blades down twist and come back to center other side twist first open up check your range of motion no movement with the lumbar and to the right, twist, and come forward one more. Okay. Okay, we'll just do one more on each side, now that you know what's happening. So really flex, inhale. Feel the whole body working. And with that strength of the whole body, Pull shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Chin in, round the back. Twist through the upper back. And back bend through the upper back. Keep your lower belly in. Twist to the other side. And come forward. Back to the second side. So you move clockwise means anti-clockwise. Twisting, then back bending with the upper back. Twisting. And come forward. Good. Release. Shoulder blades, scapula. So you want to bring your hands to your side body. Press your hands in. Shoulders up, shoulder blades down. Okay, and we start. Keep your palms attached to your whole, to your side body. Inhale. Flex the whole body. And then from there, shoulders forward. Shoulders up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. So it's the shoulder blades, the scapula. Protract, elevate, retract, depress. Protract, elevate, retract, and re depress. And back. Go back. Go up, go forward, and down one more time. Keep your whole body engaged. Feel the work happening. And then release, relax. Just one more time. Do it really slowly, really, really well. Palms by your sides. Keep your shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Keep the internal rotation of the arms. Keep your glutes engaged. Inhale. And feel your pecs working. Feel your abs working. And from there, shoulder blades forward. Up. Back. And down. Forward. Up. Back. And down. And back. Up. Forward. And down, and back, and forward, and down. 
neck, arms by your sides and fists. So form those fists really engage the whole body. Pick up your skull, the back of the skull, accelerate and then from here bring your chin in, bring your chin to the right, then bring your ear to the right, bring your head back, your ear to the left, your chin to the left, your chin down, chin to the right, ear to the right, head back, ear to the left, chin to the left, and chin forward, back to the left, ear to the left, go back, and then chin, and down, one more time, left, ear, ear, chin, and down, and relax. Okay, we'll do it one more time, and then we'll do some shoulders, some cut cows, some hips, and we're moving on. So I hope you're feeling it because you should engage to the whole body to isolate the movement in the joint we're working with. And then um, you manage to control your movements and you manage to keep your body safe and with a wide range of motion. One more time, the head. So keep your chin in at the back of the head up. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulders down, hands in, fists. Inhale. Engage the whole body and then go chin down. Chin to the left. Ear to the left. Head back. Ear to the right. Chin to the right. Chin forward and left. Ear. Back. Ear. Chin and forward to the right. Chin, ear, back, and ear, chin, and down. One more time. Explore the movement. And down. Uh, Good. Hands down. Bring your um, left knee forward, left foot forward, right knee down. Press down with the left foot and come up. So we're working with the shoulder. This is the hardest one for me. You can fold your mat if it's a lot for the knee, but that's not the hard part. Keep your left arm in a fist to remind, remind, remind the body to flex. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest, bring your arm to the side. So we're using the right shoulder. You want to keep the shoulder back, the shoulder blade down, and explore its range of motion. Start with the karate chop, external rotation. So arm is down and it opens up, palm forward and palm up. This is external rotation. Pull the belly in, keep your left hand in a fist, press the right knee down, pull forward, left foot down, pull back, feel the whole body working. And then let's test the shoulder. So hands to the mid line. Once you find um, the arm next to the head, you start rotating internally. So the palm faces out and then keep your hips grounded and keep rotating inwardly as you go back to bring the palm by your body. And then back and up and start Rotating, keeping the shoulder down, arm straight, and come. Okay, so yeah, we start with an external rotation. We go up at this point, we start internal rotating, and we keep internal rotating as we move back. But we don't twist, we keep the body here. And then we keep internal rotating until we bring the arm down. Okay, we'll do it just one more time. Really press down into the point of contact with the ground. Pull the belly, pick up your chest, pull the shoulders back, left arm in a fist. Keep your hips square. So find the distance between your legs that need to, needs to happen. Open up. And then from here, pull the belly, inhale. Flex the whole body and start the karate trip coming up. Then start rotating inwardly. Keep that internal rotation. Feel like the scapula is pushing against the left scapula. Keep internally rotating. 
go down and then come back. Keep pushing with all the strength of your arm, of your body. And come down through the midline and at Good. Just one more side. Press down into the hands of contact with the ground. Pull the belly in, right arm in at this. Left arm out. Open up the palm, keep up the chest. Pull the belly in. And then from here, bring the arm to the midline. Reach up, shoulder back, rotate, rotate, pull the shoulder back, pull, 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 pull. Keep internally rotating, arm by your side, and then come up, pull it, come up, come up. To the midline, external rotation, and arm down. Relax, if you want to test it just for a second, so it's an external rotation, it comes up in front of the nose, then it starts internally rotating. You keep the shoulder blades down, just testing the shoulder range of motion, and you keep pulling the shoulder back, but keep the body straight as you keep internally rotating. And then the same thing as you go back and testing your range of motion. Let's go one more time. Press down into the feet, into the left knee, flex, inhale. Right arm in a fist, left hand out, open up the chest and then go from the midline all the way up. Keep your shoulder blade down, internally rotate, internally rotate. Pull the shoulder to the right, pull the shoulder blade down. Good, and back. All right, keep your arms straight, pull the knee, arm straight, rotate, externally rotate. Keep rotating. Good. All right, cat cow. Hands down, knees under the hips. Press down, tuck the toes under, and keep your hips over the knees. Keep your hands under the shoulders. Push strongly, and remember again to inhale. Engage the whole body, pressing down into the hands, the knees, the toes. And then start uncurling the tailbone, and slowly arching the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Pull back through the hands, pull forward through the knees, pick up the head, the chin. Hold it for a second. Hold it, feel the power, and then start curling tailbone under, just the tailbone. Pull the belly in. Start pushing away through the hands, back through the knees. Curl the lower back under, round the lower back, the middle back. The upper back, push away through the hands, bring the head in the chin, round through the whole body, hold it for a second, relax, one more time, come up, hands under the shoulders, press down, right on the shoulder blades, tuck the toes under, pull the belly in, and then pull back through the hands, push forward through the knees, and curl the tailbone. Just the tailbone, then the lower back, then the middle back, then the upper back. Pull the shoulders back, pick up the chin, the head, and then hold it there. Start curling the tailbone under, pull the belly, curl the tailbone under, push away through the hands, push back through the knees, curl the lower back, round the middle back. Round the upper back, bring the chin, push away through the hands, back through the knees. Okay, from here, let's go one more time into cow. Stay there, just uncurl the tailbone, pull the belly. Stay with the upper back, round it. Segment the movement, lower back. Start pulling back through the hands, push forward through the knees, middle back. Pull the shoulders back, upper back. Arch everything, chin up. Head up, pull everything in, and then relax. Good. You can take notes of anything that felt weird. And we're finishing with the hips. And then we have some time still to do some core work that will help us with our back and with our inversions. Okay, so you will need a wall. Uh, here you can see me. Let me light up the room. And the 
there was light. So left hand against the wall, right arm out. Don't be right in front of the wall because you'll need to bring the foot back. So right hand in a fist, push away to the left hand, pull the belly in, press down to the left foot, inhale, engage the whole body, and then bring the right foot in. Come up just like a half lotus. Keep your hips squared. Bring the knee to 90 degrees and then open up the hip. Keep the hips square, sit was facing down and bring the heel back, pull the belly in. Extend, extend, extend. And then bring the foot back in, 90 degrees. Knee in, foot to lotus and foot down. Okay, two more times, push away. Press down, pull the belly in, foot in, come up, knee to 90. Open up, use your leg strength, keep your hips square, sit bones facing down, extend back, close in, come in, and come down. One more time, you need to relax, take a break, compose yourself, recompose yourself, Right hand in a fist, push away to the left hand, press down to the left foot, inhale, engage the whole body. Keeping the body engaged, right foot in, right leg up, knee to 90. Don't do funny things with your toes. Open up, pull the belly in, knee 90. Knee forward, foot in, and foot down. Good, 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 good. Other side. So right hand to the wall. I'll use this cupboard. This workflow. This thing. This um yeah. Press away through the right hand, left hand in a fix. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, suck the belly in, pick up the head, press down to the feet, inhale, engage the whole body. Press down to the right leg, bring the left foot in, and then up, and then to 90, and then open, and then use the leg strength, don't move the pelvis, foot back, and then knee in, and then 90, and then foot in, and foot down. Two more times, foot in, up, 90, open, foot back, in, 90, to the lows, and down. Okay, last one, let's make it count. So really go as slow as you need to, at your own pace, keeping the body engaged. So start when you're ready. Hips are very tricky. It's very important to stabilize the hips, to have control over that, and to keep that range of motion. Then you'll come to the back of your mat and we'll start some strengthening work. So if you want to, at first, you can just bring your arms to the sides just to shake it off, just the whole body. You can relax the body slightly and allow the movement to shake everything off. And then come to the back of the mat. So we're doing 10 repetitions. I'll show one and then we'll do 10. So picking up the chest, pulling the shoulders back, keeping core engaged, head up, and then we bring the hands down. We walk forward into a plank, we bend the elbows into a chaturanga, we push, and then we come back all the way, and we come up. If you need to, bring the knees down. So I'll show the alternative. You bring the hands down, you come forward, you bring the knees down, elbows in, and you keep the body engaged as you push up. So ideally, you have this straight angle when you're coming down, even with the knee down, so you use your core. Okay, 10 repetitions. Let's do it as fast as you can. Hands down, hands forward, keep the belly engaged, bend, push, come back. That was one, come down, come forward, down, 
push, core engaged, and hammer. Two, down, forward, elbows in, push, back, three, and down, forward, elbows in, and push, and back, four, down, forward, down, up, back, keep the core engaged, down, forward, down, up, six, down, forward, down, up, seven, okay, let's go faster, eight, you can do it, last one, good job, all right, come down, come to lie down, locust, working with that back bend, legs straight at the back, feet together, arms out, pick up the chest, and from here we're lifting arms and legs, we're pulling the elbows back, uh, bringing everything up again, and then coming down. Okay, let's do 12 today. Inhale, up, back, up, and down, and up, back, up, two, up, up, three, up, really pull back, use your glutes, four, up, chin up, forward, down, up, forward, five, up, forward, six, up, back, up, seven, almost done, eight, nine, ten, two more, up, eleven, really go up, really go back, really go up, and down, so good job, plank pose. Okay, just 30 seconds in plank, and then option to bring one arm up, and then the other arm up. If that's too easy, then one arm and opposite leg up, and then the opposite. So we do 30, 10, and 10. Let's go. Hands under the shoulders, push down. If you're going to keep the knees down in plank, Take them as far as possible to the back so that you're using your core. Actually, otherwise, tuck toes under and come up for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. I can't use my phone as a timer because it's on Instagram. 18 more, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, press left hand down, bring right arm up, maybe left leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Use your core. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Switch right hand down, left arm up, maybe right leg up. 10, Nine, eight, seven, almost done. Six, five, use your core. Three, two, and one. Hands down, knees down. Good job. Side plank. So for the side plank, you have the option of using some weight. I'll use a water bottle. You can just use your hand or just hold your phone, or hold something heavy, or hold a dumbbell, which is what normal people do. Okay, options. You need the hips up. If you need to bring the knee down, bring the back, uh, the bottom knee down. Otherwise, legs up, feet in scissors is easier than feet on top. Um, these are the options. <laughs> and then grab your weight as um, heavy as, you want, reach up, gaze up, and then follow the gaze with the, the bottle with the gaze, bring the arm down and up for eight. Seven, keep the hips up, keep the belly engaged, six. Five, uh, 
four, three, two. Okay, no break. Other side. Turn around. Same variation. Lift up the hips. Lift up the arm and go down. Eight. Seven. Keep those abs working. Five. Four. Three. Two. Push away through the arm. Hips up. And one. Arm up. And then arm down. Good job. Great job. Okay. Let me see. Side plank and then it's mountain. Okay. Mountain bikers. Hands down. Feet back. Push down into the hands. Widen the shoulder blades. Hips up. 20 is the maximum. Do as many as you can. One and two and three and four and five and six. Keep the belly in. Keep the knees coming up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. And come down, come back. So now we're going to, uh, again, use some weight. I'm just going to use my books. You can use some water bottles. We're lifting up. So if you have an elastic band, you can step on your elastic band, hold on to the elastic band, and push up and bring the arm the band down. Otherwise, we choose the lockdown version. Elbows in, pull the belly in. Yeah, I'll stay down so you can see, and because it's easier. Okay, keep the belly in and lift up. Keep the elbows in and down. Ten, up. Keep the elbows in, down. Nine. Eight, keep the belly in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Um, you can do both arms or one at a time. So you bring the arms parallel and then down and keep the elbows shoulder height. Pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and go. Five, just five, four, three, keep the belly engaged. Two, and one. Now up, and to the center, and up. Five, four, three, two, and one, up and all the way down. Five, four, three, two, keep the elbows high. One, I'll do one more because I didn't walk. Okay, good job. Hands forward, that's what happy pops. That was it for the conditioning. Let's just lie down. Pull the belly in. If you want to add some more stretch, the shoulders come to the fingertips and keep the chest coming towards the ground. If you want some more, bring the chin forward. Widen the shoulder blades. Tuck the lower belly in. Find a slight um, rounding in the lower back and push the chest down, and pull it back. Inhale here, and exhale. Pull up, okay. Option to do the same. Um, option to do it against the wall. So if you want to do it against the wall, it's the same idea. If you feel that it's too easy, you can place your palms higher onto something and pull your head, your chest down. Otherwise, find your variation again. Or 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 
seven and six lengthen the breath five four three two and pull the belly in and come up turn around bring your hands back and then from here find internal rotation of the shoulders bend the elbows slightly and push the chest forward if you don't do the stretch walk the hands back and breathe four ten nine eight seven six you can come off for a bit and then come back and maybe go even deeper if you feel it on the elbows make sure you have a micro band in the elbows and make sure that the shoulders are also working so reach back through the hands and find that internal rotation of the shoulders grab the shoulder blades three two and one pull the belly in and again very slowly we're coming out of the poses let's bring the right arm down to the side and turn to the left left hand down and then from here you can choose to bring the feet down and twist more to open up the chest i like to turn this into a twist so once you're you feel the shoulder stretching then find your left arm and take it to towards the direction where you're facing. And then pull yourself that way and feel how the twist is being increased. Keep your lower belly in, reach out way to the left hand. Pull the belly, inhale deeply. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Pull the belly, reach away. Other side, left arm out, and come up. Again, if you cannot bring the legs up, it's fine. Stay on your side, or bring the feet down, open up. Start with the twist uh, from the stretch of the shoulder, bring the shoulder blades down, and once you feel that stretch, reach the right arm out, and find the twist. Keep the hips squared, set the lower belly in and to the right as you reach the arms to the other right. Four, three, inhale, deep. And exhale, reach away through the arm. Four, two. And one, exhale through the mouth. Slowly. Go with the hand in, come back, come down, and then release and come around. Dynamic bridge, pressing the feet down, open up the feet, shoulder width apart, suck the lower belly in, inhale the arms up, the chest towards the chin, arms overhead, and exhale, reach the hips towards the feet, arms down. Five more, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, synchronize the movement with the breath. Inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale smoothly, moving the chest towards the chin, the arms back, knees away from you, exhale, Keeps back and down, hands by the sides. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees to your uh, chest. Pull the knees close to the chest. 
and feel like you're pushing the hands up with the knees. So allow that struggle to happen between the hands and the knees. Pushing up with the knees and down with the hands. Keep your heels close to your butt and move the pubic bone away from your chest. Sag the lower belly in and towards the chin. Bring the chin in, the shoulder blades down the back. So pull in with the hands, push up with the knees, lengthen the lower back, inhale into the lower back. Exhale through the mouth. Relax your face, relax the shoulder blades down, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale deeply. And let go. Release the legs. If there's any last stretch you need to do, you're welcome to. Happy baby is an option. Otherwise, extend the legs, extend the arms, pull the shoulder blades down and tuck the chin in. Relax your face. Inhale from your toes all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale through the mouth, relax your face, your arms, your legs, your everything. Good job today. Now allow your body to rest in Shavasana. If for any reason this position is not comfortable for you, then Find a, a position that works for you, sideways, face down. Keep bending the knees, placing something under the knees, under the back. And simply allow gravity to take away any tension left in the body. Allow the breath to be smooth. Face to be relaxed. your attention to rest and that belly button rising up naturally and dropping down following the period mother earth. Relax. You are stronger than you think is possible. You are more beautiful than you let yourself believe. You are perfect, should you? Yeah. 
extent to bring your awareness back to your body, back to the space occupied by your body. Back to your breath, and the power bestowed in your breath. Feel that power and then that power to feel your body. Inhale deeply again and feel your whole body engaged. And then start moving the fingers, the toes, the hands, the feet. So moving the head from side to side. Nourishing yourself with breath and movement. We'll come back to a seated position, but first we will stretch the whole body. Maybe at anything it might need, any stretch, any twist, any extension, any flexion. So take your time to listen to your body and lay in a seated position in one minute. Once you find a seated position, find your strength again in this seated position through your breath. Inhale deeply and use that to find force energy in your whole body and every last cell of your body. And exhale through the mouth. Let that energy find its place inside you and stay there for whenever you might need to use it. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment just to appreciate who you are, where you've come. And to appreciate everything more that there is in life. Everything that's to come. Appreciate that the fact that you're not there yet means that there's already so much more to enjoy. The love in me honors and celebrates the love inside you. Namaste. Thank you.